Oh, somebody wanted to see a close-up of the gears here. Uh, so basically, that's what it looks like. And that is just the miter pack gearbox uh, mounted to a carbon fiber flange that I made. Um, that flange is an actual carbon fiber angle that's been reinforced. Those two angles actually bonded together and then uh, reinforced with a flat plate and a little flange on the side here to give it some extra rigidity. And it is uh, definitely rigid enough. Even after hard torquing, there's absolutely no movement in there whatsoever. Probably overkill. Probably yeah, actually put a bigger gearbox on that, I think, and it would still still be okay. And what we did uh, previous is I had my machinist buddy Manny make me some uh, couplers here. So this coupler just fits over another coupler, which fits onto the gearbox uh, shaft. And there's a key way and a key in there and a little uh, screw, grub screw, goes and pushes on the key and keeps that. Uh, in place and then what this is is I've just um, taken these off a, a cassette a regular bike cassette 11 speed cassette I guess it is and um, I just weld them onto this coupler that Manny made so it's been working pretty good so far I've got I can't tell you how many hundreds of kilometers on that guy and there's never really been any issues at all with that so I've got a number of these I've got uh, all the way from 19 uh, or 16 tooth all the way down to I think 8 tooth so I've got by 1 tooth so I've got a bunch of these I can just easily replace them put them on off and then gearbox slides this way back and forth uh, to tighten the chain so I don't need a chain idler um, 